good. Good night, my angel. Time to close your eyes and save, and save these questions for another day. For many of you that know, Dave was studying to become a doctor, and I still remember each and every day just the courage that he put in it, the dedication, and that was based off the heart that he had. I didn't know Dave as like, you know, the awesome singer, like the athlete or the genius. Like, I know him as a brother. My last memory of Dave is probably my best. Um, a minor had a concert over this um, St. Patrick's Day weekend, and Dave was like, okay, we're going out with a bang. So they threw a party together, and I will just never, or I'll never forget the biggest hug that Dave had and the smile on his face when he said, this is the best night of my life. And when Dave would laugh, it was, you knew you, were, you said something funny because Dave had a great sense of humor. And I'm gonna really miss that. And even right now, I know that it feels awkward to laugh sometimes when you think about this, but Dave would want us to laugh. Dave would want us to be happy when we remember him and not sad all the time. It's okay that we're sad, it's okay to feel that, but Dave was always there to make us laugh no matter what happened. So if you feel like you need to smile sometimes when you think about him, then smile, laugh, hug somebody because that's what he would want. And I still remember the summer at his birthday party, um, you know, he was flailing around. I walk in and he has this huge sombrero on and like he greeted me like it was my birthday. And I was just overcome because he just has this sense of celebration or he's always had a sense of celebration and I really just, you know, will carry that um, through just like he showed me. So um, I just know that he's touched everyone's life. I loved him. and. Uh... I really, really miss him. I can hear him now, laughing and yelling as he does. Though I know these are mere shadows of memory. We've had a lot of classes together, and whenever we would take a test, get a grade, or anything like that, he would be more proud of how I did on the exam. He'd be more proud of me than his own self. And I think that says a lot about who he was as a person. He always <laughs> found a way to make you laugh, and he knew exactly what was going to make you smile. And that was the way that he helped heal everybody around him because he was such a source of light for everyone. And I feel that the best way to celebrate Dave's life is to really cherish what we have right now on this earth. Our time is limited, but it goes to show you that every second matters. And if you really want to celebrate Dave's life, just go on living with that motto. And I'm sure wherever Dave is right now, you will give him the biggest smile he's ever had. Thank you. Someday we'll all be gone, but lullabies go on and on. They never die. That's how you and I will be. That's how you and I.